There's a bit of metal in the way. How do we solve this? Uh, let me think, let me think. Oh, I know. Let's get the power tools out. That's a good one. Yeah. All right, so the engine mounts are on. I'm very happy how it turned out. So the next step is to feed manifold. Let me show you what the problem I have. Can you see anything? Anything that might be a problem in this setup? Anything? Can you see anything? Oh, there's a bit of metal in the way. We're gonna chop, chop this whole thing off and then just to make a nice little space frame-ish bar that will also act as a support for the uh, bonnet pin um, and also the headlight blanks. That's about it. I mean, as far as I know, it's not really serving any purpose. Plus, I'm going to be putting something back in there. So it should be good. is ever easy is it so we have that new brace for the headlight thingy attached but it's very little space very little space because I made this bracket so it should be something like this it will be very very close very very tight but it should should be should be doable Problem solved. It's a tight fit, but it fits. Pedal box time, pedal box time. As always, there is issues. Uh, that bloody thing, the little brace, it's in the way. Well, it's not really in a way. I mean, I can make it work without removing it. It's just the pedals will be a little bit higher, but I want it to be neat. I want it to be neat. I want it to be neat. I want it to be, you know, spot on just the way I like it. Otherwise, what's the point of doing all this custom work? So the plan is um, chop a bit more metal, make a plate, a bracket for the pedals, weld it in, screw the pedals in, run the lines, bleed them, and yeah, measure how many times and cut how many times. Yeah, anyways, let's get cracking. Are you fed up with that coronavirus as much as everyone else? I bet you are. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click that like button as well.
my legs are almost stretched if you look at it you can probably tell it's good I, I, I have support underneath so I'm definitely happy <coughs> happy with the position of the pedals now we have another issue well it's not an issue I mean I always make it like it's an issue uh, let me show you the little foot plate um, this is the original one that I had before so I was thinking let me get a different angle so I was thinking of just putting it like this because you kind of need something right because because of the gap so I was thinking of just having it like this but the problem I see is here because all of my lines are going to be coming out from here and that's where your leg sits so all of this is really untidy so we're not going to use that instead we're going to use that check it so the idea is to make similar plate like this over here 33 centimeters by whichever length and then i'll make a box to the same height like this and um, yeah weld it and uh, should be golden three hours later three weeks later being stuck at home without racing for another three weeks now you kind of end up finding new jobs to do on the car so what I figured out is that I want a bit more protection for the resting leg, left leg, you know, where the, uh, the clutch is, clearly you do. Uh, currently, well, that's what I made. That's the original thingy bob that goes on top. So we've made this footrest plate and I welded that. But because I have bias cable, and also all of this stuff and it's just a bit I'm, I'm fearing that you know in a bit of a rest you'll just be constantly heating that stuff so I want it to be sort of kind of protected so what I've made is a couple of templates and I reckon like that and most likely something like that so now it's going to be well protected obviously we're going to drill some really nice dimpled holes like that here and there and um, weld it all around but I think overall it will look really really good any excuse to practice some aluminium welding I like aluminium welding let's go it's already pre-cut aluminium plates and I actually welded them already I mean that part that weld I reckon that looks good I'm learning so something like this come out as a one part and obviously there's a attachment hole there and there so it should be rigid enough All right, so it's welded. Now let's drill some holes and make some dimple dye um, weight saving. Moments later. Sometimes I take it a little bit too far with my fabrication, but I can only blame coronavirus for that. So behold. Yeah, lots of dimple dye. I mean, dye is quite sexy looking if you don't mind me saying that let's see how it fits inside oh yes I reckon that looks pretty good if you ask me I think that looks professional enough a real race car so three dimple dies on the side one smaller one there 
I've added a few to the bottom. It's all welded, um, it's all screwed in, all applied. Um, and the next step is, fuck, I don't know what the next step is. I reckon the next step would be feeding it. Still waiting for a few parts. Um, yeah. <laughs>